What's going on guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If this is your first time stumbling across the channel, what's up? My name is Courtney Blue. I'm an online fitness coach. I help women all across the country and the world lose weight, feel really good in their own skin, build up their confidence, increase their metabolisms, eat more of their favorite foods, and actually build lean muscle mass. That's what I do for a living, and I have the best job in the entire world. If you're new here, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel down below, and also comment and tell me where you're watching from. Tell me what it is that you want to learn about from this channel. I am here as a resource for you. I'm here as a friend, a coach, a workout buddy, whatever it is that you need, girl, I got you. So I'm super excited and grateful that you're here today. And today we're talking about the five mistakes people make when they're trying to lose weight. I'm an online coach, like I said, so I actually go over these five things with people every single day. <laughs> the clients that apply for my coaching, the people that I talk to on Instagram, the family members that come to me and they're like, help me, what am I doing wrong? These are the five things that people struggle with most of the time. These are things that I personally struggled with in my own journey. I know how frustrating it can be doing everything Feel like, feeling like you're doing everything right and not seeing any results. So if you're in a fitness journey, if you're in a weight loss journey and you're not seeing the results that you want, take a closer look at some of these things and then comment down below or go ahead and email me or apply for my coaching and we will talk about what you need to be doing the right way and the proper ways to actually lose weight and get that body that you want, girl, okay? So that's enough rambling, let's get into today's video. So the first mistake that people make is they have an all or nothing mentality. Now, this just means that when they're starting their fitness journey or they're starting to eat healthy or work out, they completely go all in and they think, I can never have treats again, I can never have wine, I can never have a cookie or a cheeseburger, I can never miss a workout, and they all of a sudden put this immense pressure on themselves. And I think that it comes from this place that they don't realize this needs to be a lifestyle for you. If you want to lose weight and keep it off, you need to become a new person. You need to have new habits, new routines, um, and you need to look at yourself in a new way. And that comes with making this a lifestyle. When people are struggling with this all or nothing mentality, they all of a sudden start obsessing obsessing over the things that they cannot have. This is what I dealt with for years. I was like, okay, I'm trying to lose weight, that means only salads, only grilled chicken, only asparagus, you know, no cookies, no going out to eat, no wine, no even like diet sodas or regular drinks. I was like totally balls to the wall, obsessed with being healthy. And all that that led me to do was think about all the foods that I couldn't consume. And it, it created this this structure in this box that I felt like I was in and when I was human and we all are and we fall off track sometimes or we you know go out on the weekend we have an extra cookie it made me feel terrible so first things first is to drop that all-or-nothing mentality so start doing some mindset work and start realizing that this is a long-term thing you're committing to not just a short quick fix to get you a little bit of weight loss and then go right back the way that you were start making this a lifestyle and you will see incredible changes number two of what people do wrong I did this for years, guys, okay? Literally years, and this is doing too much cardio. People think that because treadmills are awesome and ellipticals are awesome and because it's cardio, they think that that is the best way to burn fat, to lose weight, and it is not. It is That's just, ugh, I hate hearing this, okay? People will spend, including myself, they'll spend hours on the treadmill or the elliptical. They'll go in for two hours, watch a couple movies, and they just spend all this time thinking that because they're in there for longer, it's gonna be more effective and they're gonna get the results that they want. That's not how it goes. You have to be more effective and smarter with your workouts. You don't necessarily have to work harder. So high intensity interval training is actually the number one thing you need to be doing if you're trying to lose fat. If you're trying to lose weight, if you're trying to tone up, high intensity interval training, otherwise known as HIT is the best way to go. Number one, it's less time. Normally those workouts take about 10 to 20, 25 minutes. And all that it means is that you're going all in for 30 seconds. So maybe that's a sprint on the treadmill or the spin bike or maybe burpees or you know jump squats or something like that. And then you have an, a period of 30 seconds of rest. And doing those intervals on and off is what's gonna spike that in your system. And you're gonna see huge, huge, huge changes physically, you guys. It's not about spending more time in the gym. It's just being more effective with your time at the gym. Also, you need to be focusing on weight training. No, it's not going to make you bulky. No, it's not going to make you look manly. Um, it actually takes a lot more than just lifting weights in the gym to get huge. You're not going to look like Arnold Schwarzenegger, okay? Um, <laughs> the best thing about bodybuilding is that you control what you want to change. So if you want to work on your arms, lifting will help that. If you want to focus on toning up your legs or building your glutes or, you know, more toning in your stomach, that all comes from bodybuilding and weightlifting. 
So also having a lean muscle mass, which you get from weightlifting, actually burns more fat. So try to incorporate HIIT cardio and weight training more and you will definitely start to see more results. Number three, this is something I struggled with again for years. All of my girls actually come to me and they are eating too little. They think that because they're trying to lose weight, they have to cut out carbs and fats and only eat kale and chicken. Number one, that is miserable. Number two, you're actually doing more harm to your body than you are good. Our bodies are very adaptive systems, so if you start feeding yourself less and less and less food, you're cutting out calories every single week, your body's going to adapt to then only like five or 800 calories, maybe a thousand calories, whatever it is you're consuming, that's gonna become your new body's norm. So that is just literally going to decrease your metabolism, it's gonna up your cortisol, which is your stress hormone, you're gonna feel miserable, you're gonna have no energy, and you're actually depriving your body of the fuel and the nutrients that it needs to start burning fat. You need to be eating more to actually lose more weight. I get so many clients who sign up with me and they're like, I'm eating a thousand calories. What am I doing wrong? And I'm like, girl, you're not eating enough. You have to be fueling your body. It's like a car. You don't expect to get in your car and have it run without stopping and putting more gas in it. That's the fuel for the car. Your body needs fuel for daily activities, for working out and for burning fat. So don't be afraid of food, ladies. This is something that you struggle with, you're super scared to increase food, I totally get it. I would hire someone, reach out to me as a coach. Um, you need to fix your mindset on not having this like less is more mentality. More food is better for you guys, I promise you. So number four is definitely something we're all guilty of, okay? And this is following someone else's training program. We think that because we see someone on Instagram or YouTube or, you know, social media, bodybuilding.com, whatever, we follow someone else's workout program and we think that, oh, they got results, it's gonna work for me too. It has to, it worked on her body and she looks great. Their body, is not your body, okay? <laughs> you are completely different, your metabolism is different, your height, your weight, your activity levels, your past history with dieting, everything in your body is completely different from someone else. Even if you're relatively the same height, same weight, um, your macros and your nutrition and your workout program are all gonna be completely different than someone else. For my girls, every single piece of their program, down to their macros, down to their water, down to their workout programs, down to their cardio, every single thing is customized because you need a program that is completely structured to you and your body. You can't expect to follow someone else's journey or program or workouts and expect for it to work for you too. So I know that it's scary, but I would highly, highly recommend working with someone who can actually write you a proper workout split that's going to be customized and tailored to your body. Say you only have three days a week to work out. Someone can write you a plan for that. Say you love working out, you wanna work out six days a week, that's great, but you need to follow a program that's created for you, not someone else. Number five, this is something that took me a really long time to come around to. I'm a very independent, stubborn person. I like to think that I can do everything on my own and that I'm smart enough and I'm accountable enough and I'm great enough and I'm perfect enough and whatever, but I used to struggle a lot with not reaching out to people and not having any help. So tip number five is people thinking that they can do this entire journey on their own. I have so many people that come to me and they're like, well, I'm trying to do it on my, on my own. I'm trying to create my own macros. I don't know what I'm doing. And you know, God forbid there's a day where you're unmotivated, which is gonna happen because you're a human being. Um, then all of a sudden you feel like crap because no one is there to pick you up. No one's there to remind you of why you started and that is when hiring a coach or having a workout buddy or having an accountability partner that is when these things will change your journey you guys with my girls I do a lot of internal work a lot of motivational stuff a lot of confidence stuff and I give them the right tools that they need so that way they can start to do this on their own after our time together but one of the biggest things is people thinking that they can do it on their own they think that they can pick themselves up when they have a rough day or you know they don't need a set of eyes on them because they're gonna be totally fine they can do this on their own and while that's great and I'm super proud of you for thinking that and being super independent it is not always the case it's really hard sometimes this journey comes with really great days where you feel really good in the gym and you feel excited to work out and to eat healthy and take care of yourself and then you're a human being and you have an off day and you need someone there to pick you up when you fall down and that is what I do as a living that is what so many amazing people are doing now is is coaching people through this journey it's 
it's an incredibly amazing but also intimidating and overwhelming journey at first and you need someone who can teach you the right way to do this have the right tools in place and also have the right support system so number five is just to really try and swallow your pride and if you feel like you need extra support someone with knowledge and who's been doing this for forever reach out to me I'm gonna leave my application for coaching in the description box below I am accepting one-on-one -on -one clients so this is what I do for a living I give girls workout programs I give them macros I give them full-blown support support, Zoom calls, a Facebook group, check-ins. I provide the most support for people because I know how exhausting it is and how frustrating it can be to do this on your own and feel like you are getting nowhere. So if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, definitely go ahead and click that application down below, fill it out. We'll hop on a phone call. We'll get to know each other, get to know your goals and see if my coaching is the right fit for you. I'm actually only working with a select number of people right now. I'm just I really want to work with women who are ready to do this in the right way. They're ready to fix their metabolisms, not fall for a quick fix, not just follow some stupid waist trainer, fat burning fix program. I want to help people make this a lifestyle. So all five of these things that we've talked about today are things that I cover in my coaching and things that I coach women out of. I help them find their freedom. I help them love food again, love working out again, and love taking care of themselves again. My girls, yes, they lose weight. They build lean muscle. They look amazing. They physically transform, yes, but the cooler part is the mental side. They all of a sudden love how they feel in the mirror. They love seeing pictures of themselves. They love taking care of themselves for the right reasons, and that is why I do what I do. So if you're looking for a one-on-one -on -one coach, if you're looking for anything like that, please feel free to reach out to me. I am your girl. We can chat, hop on the phone, all that kind of stuff. So I hope that you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Stay up to date on all the things coming for the channel. Yay! And also tell me down below where you're watching from or tell me which one of these five things you struggle with the most. Um, for me, it was probably the whole all or nothing mentality because that weaved in all of the other ones. I thought I had to eat less. I thought I had to spend only hours at the gym and you know I couldn't I couldn't open up to anyone and tell them that I needed help um, I struggled with that mentality and I think that's part of why I'm an awesome coach is because I've been through your shoes and I know how that feels and it sucks it really does but that's why I'm here I'm here to lift you up and I'm here to be what you guys need so I love you guys so much I hope that you found this video helpful and I will see you guys in the next videos love you guys bye